Sarawak's abundant rainfall and mountainous terrain help to form its numerous rivers. Starting in the mountainous interior, before swiftly cascading into headwaters, rivers are tapped for their enormous energy potential. Focused hydropower development in the last decade has propelled Sarawak's rapid progress by increasing generation capacity, energy supply and driving the demand for a growing consumer base. Under the Sarawak government's strategic guidance, Sarawak Energy is harnessing the power of rivers to generate renewable, affordable and sustainable energy for export, homes, businesses and power-intensive Sarawak Corridor of Renewable Energy or SCORE customers. Sarawak's generation capacity is projected to grow to 5,449 megawatts by 2020, predominantly with the increase in renewable hydropower. The Batang Ai hydroelectric plant was the first step towards Sarawak realising its hydropower potential. Energised in 1985, it was the beginning of the state grid, enabling the transmission of electricity from remote power plants to urban or industrial areas where demand is high. Crucially, Batang Ai provided the foundation for Sarawak to build expertise in hydropower as the forerunner for the Bakun and Murum hydroelectric plants. Sarawak Energy is a key player in hydropower development with these three plants in operation and Bale scheduled for completion in 2026. Smaller dams include the 10.5 MW Kota 2 in Lawas, the 1 MW Mini Hydro in Kalamuku and the 480 kW Micro Hydro in Kajin. Today, homes, businesses and industries in Sarawak enjoy the lowest average tariff in Malaysia and amongst the lowest in the region. This is made possible by hydropower development, which has a high initial investment but low operating cost. Due to hydropower, Sarawak is able to offer globally competitive rates for bulk power customers with the added benefit of it being a renewable resource. This has attracted numerous energy-intensive industries, especially within the Samalaju Industrial Park in Bintulu, part of SCORE. The greater benefits for Sarawak include bringing in foreign direct investment, technology transfers and employment and business opportunities. With a surplus capacity and a developed state transmission grid, Sarawak has a modern power system with greater reliability. This enables export of power to West Kalimantan, paving the way for a Borneo grid and Sarawak becoming the regional powerhouse for ASEAN. Sarawak Energy's hydropower development is based on international best practices. Construction is guided by the International Commission on Large Dams, ICOLD. To ensure the structural integrity of our hydroelectric projects through the engagement of international safety consultants and constant monitoring. Catchment management plans protect upstream and downstream communities. Sustainability is embedded to maximize positive impact on communities and mitigate any negative impact. Resettlement programs are developed with communities to enhance living standards by expanding sustainable livelihood opportunities, educational excellence or preserving indigenous culture. Environmental and wildlife management are also at the core of the non-technical aspects of our projects. In addition to fulfilling state and national environmental impact requirements, we voluntarily adopt the International Hydropower Association's Hydropower Sustainability Assessment Protocol. In recent years, Bakun and Murum hydroelectric plants have significantly increased the state's generation capacity while reducing the carbon intensity for electricity supply by 74% since 2009. Commitment to sustainability has brought positive change to project-affected communities. 
Batang Ai's villages upstream of the reservoir area were provided with solar systems, while resettled villages benefited from educational incentives and community outreach programs. The development of Murum Hydroelectric Plant involved the resettlement of over 350 households, which now have access to 24-hour electricity, water supply, better roads and education. Programs undertaken with government agencies have seen higher attendance at primary schools at the Murum resettlement areas. The Murum Panan Literacy Program has enabled around 400 adult learners to perform simple literacy and numeracy tasks. Training has enhanced the commercial viability of traditional handicrafts, expanding their market reach and providing for a more sustainable income. For the Bali project, the community has already benefited from programs in skills training for up to 500 local youth and entrepreneurship development. As the world moves towards cleaner energy sources, hydropower plays an increasingly crucial role as a renewable, affordable energy source. Sarawa Energy will meet the demand by growing as a leading developer and realizing our vision to be a regional powerhouse. Within decades since Sarawa embarked on its hydropower journey, the state is now at the forefront as an elected member of the International Hydropower Association. We will continue to further develop hydropower potential and expand the benefits of this reliable, affordable, clean and sustainable energy in Sarawak.